Hi, today we're gonna be reviewing the Dell touchscreen monitor for desktops. Let us start by lowering the monitor. As you can see, it has very large flexibility. Now let's check Autodesk Sketchbook. It's very wonderful for artists, and obviously there's a lot of other applications. The capacity pen is very cheap, so you can sign documents. You can, for example, uh, utilize the Microsoft Word. So for example, you can annotate documents, input corrections, or uh, highlight some text, or even write down notes, or point out some aspects, maybe like you want to review a document. You can even replay the ink, maybe you had a drawing or something. So it's really a very, very practical. You can also like use the mathematics to write the equations. With this uh, writing tool, I mean drawing tool, you can just basically write down any equation you want. And if there is any mistake, you can still correct it. You can also type as well. Into the style. Okay. This is the only obviously you can use the normal keyboard, but just uh, to show off the capabilities here. So let's check. Okay, let's remove that. Let's back, go back to annotations. Okay, so you have to click draw to annotate the text, but yeah, it's uh, basically very practical. You can even use shapes, this, this is a very uh, convenient feature. If, if you want to draw a lot of shapes, maybe like a diagram, but you don't want to be selecting each and every simple, you just want to be uh, like, ha have the idea flow basically, to draw drafts and plan uh, stuff, so yeah, it's very, very practical and very responsive. Let's check Microsoft Edge. Maybe let's go to the maps. Google Maps. Okay. So you can see it's very responsive. Maybe like you're an architect. You want to select a piece of land and uh, you want to like uh, map it and plan your development. So it's, uh, it's, and it's also very responsive. And uh, if you pair it with a powerful machine and a good internet connection, anything is possible. Let's check the Blender. It's a 3D drawing software. So as you can see, it's very fluid. Uh, obviously, it's, uh, this drawing is very simple, but still, I mean, uh, it, it, uh, again, it depends on the, how powerful your machine is. For example, also like for, for the simple, as simplest as documents, uh, here I have the documents on a separate screen uh, just to uh, hide uh, like my, my personal documents. But I mean, if you, if you are moving documents around, if you annotating, if you're doing anything with the screen, the multi-touch capability is, is really very helpful. And it's also very intuitive. You feel like, I mean, in real life, when you want to hold something, you just want to touch it. And then you can just bring the screen up very, very practical. And so totally recommend it. Thank you for watching.